start here and try to use the hand. Here right now, once he's kind of closing the gap on my hip, he starts doing the windshield, you know, and then from there, yeah, you kind of spread my arms out, and it's kind of like I'm way behind, all right? <clears throat> so here, what I like to see you doing, if guy ever be beats you, you're gonna use what we call straight jacket and elbow digs, okay? I'm gonna explain to you what that is. No hands, so he passes my head. I block the outside of the arm, and I put my elbow outside of his shoulder. You see that? And yeah, wiggle, 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 pull in here. And if he's not careful, you know, I'm going for the arm, or before he gets up, you know, I start going for the collar here, and if he's not careful, that's all she wrote. Okay, <coughs> and he passes again, you know, whatever pass. So if I put my hand, look, he's going through, my arms are spread out, he got the V, I'm done, okay? So here, go ahead, look, right here, put your weight. See, this one is called straight jacket. You aim for the guy's elbow, push the head, and elbow dig. Put your elbow right there, put your weight on me. So I, I don't feel anything. <coughs> here, if the guy gives me the leg, I go straight. But always pull the guy to you at the end. Don't just go here and let the guy get up. Pull the guy to you. Keep the guy close to you. Keep moving away. Look, he's not moving anywhere. So here, oh, I go under. I put my arm on top of here. Keep defending there. Look, my arm is under. I got the collar, you know. Or if you, you know, I didn't add the hook flip, which you can review. Uh, but you can do the hook flip if you want for the advanced. Well, not advanced, the ones that came yesterday. Okay. But here, what I want to see, one more time, slow. The guy passes, right? He passes. Elbow <laughs> control with your forearm. Push the head. See, my neck is up so he doesn't switch. And out here, even if he switches, I'm gonna let him switch just for the fun. Elbow control, and then push the hip. And here, I will let him switch again, switch again to the other side just for the fun. See, I go for straight jackets. You see how his arm is not there yet? Push the head. Now I go for the elbow dig, turning. Move my hip, the wiggle, and I pull. See, invariably, you're gonna get the guy. You guys follow that? Yeah. So this is called straight jacket. You move, push the face and turn a little bit. Elbow dig. And therefore, here you kind of move your hip, wiggle, wiggle, and pull the guy in. So the guy switches. You don't go for turning. You catch him with a straight jacket. Okay, as you turn, push his head out so you can turn your hip. And therefore, here, elbow dig. And then from there, once you move your hip, you catch any hip, keep wiggling. And pull the guy back in, and that's all she wrote. That's it once, cool? That's it once more. Yes, sorry. Slow motion. Let me explain to you the straight jacket. The guy passes. You aim. Look, your arm like this. You see how my palm is towards me? So when he puts the weight, put your weight on me. What I want here is to make difficult for him to pull this arm out. Put your arm out for a second here. See, look, I kind of tuck my elbow against the arm. Now I push him a little bit here, and I kind of go right here. I deflected his weight. If he tries to get heavy, I don't feel a thing. Now from here, once I get my knee here, he can still hold my leg. But once I start to wiggle, I kind of catch up with him and then finish him off. So I'm saying you have to once you get your knee in, don't shrimp, <laughs> wiggle. You see, this is what the wiggle means. Your head is moving and it goes like this. See, I'm wiggling and I'm actually walking my body <clears throat> towards that side so I can get the angle cut. To get the guy, and it helps a lot more when you do the wiggle, the pulling. Like I'm here with the elbow dig. Once I get my knee here and I start the wiggle, I flat my back and I pull. Boom, right here. Then I wiggle more if I need to. Boom, and close the door. Let's do it five reps each. What should we have?